What's the closest scientists have gotten to, to Jurassic, Jurassic Park? Park? And by that I mean, what's the oldest thing that we found some remnant of? Bingo, dino DNA. And then brought back to life. The answer starts with this little gentleman, this Arctic ground squirrel, or rather its ancient relatives who were running around this part of Siberia tens of thousands of years ago. They would dig their burrows right up against the frozen permafrost so the fruits and seeds they collected would be refrigerated. And about 31,800 years ago, one of those burrows was buried in silt, sealing in that larder, until it was excavated by Russian scientists. They found these seeds and managed to take some thawed out plant material and coax out these sprouts. But that 30,000 year old flower is not the closest we've gotten to Jurassic Park. When I saw that paper, I said, well, if they can revive a plant, we should be able to revive viruses that are at least as old. My name is Jean-Michel John Michael Clavery uh, from France. That's why I have that uh, strange accent. I'm sorry about it. And so his team took a little bit of dirt from this burrow and they managed to extract this virus. And it was active. It was able to infect amoeba and it was giant, much, much larger than a flu virus. After that, they started searching the permafrost for other samples, other viruses to revive. And the oldest one they managed to find was more than 48,500 years old. And that is the oldest thing we've ever revived. There have been some disputed claims about even older bacteria, and viruses aren't really considered alive. So still 66 million years short of those Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Why and how did scientists do this? And should we be worried? No. Those are the questions that our latest episode tackles. I hope you'll give it a watch.